this is Anita with Workflow Grow, bringing you to this week's installment of Express Desk Stretch. So I've got a question for you. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you've just got too much to do and your heart just starts racing? Or maybe your boss just shortened a deadline and you feel panicked. Uh, maybe you've had a disagreement with a colleague or a family member and that's making you feel anxious or nervous. All of these feelings contribute to stress. And that's going to be my focus for the month of April because April is Stress Awareness Month. So what is stress exactly? Stress is not what happens to you. It is how you handle what happens to you. It's primarily a physical response. So when threatened, the body releases hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, and neoepinephrine. And this helps to prepare the body for some sort of physical action, like defending itself or running away from danger. Um, and this causes several reactions inside your body from your blood being diverted to your muscles and your heart and your legs so that you can fight or flight um, to, all, to shutting down unnecessary bodily functions such as digestion, because you don't really need to worry about eating when you're fighting for your life. <laughs> So this helped our ancestors to survive predator attacks, and it comes in really handy right now if we need to survive real threats to our lives, like escaping a burning house or avoiding a car accident or, or whatever the case might be. But the challenge is when our body goes into a state of stress in inappropriate situations, which unfortunately it often does. I know mine does. So like a fast approaching deadline, a red light, or an uncooperative child, it's not a threat to our lives, but our primitive brains do not realize this. And it triggers that fight, flight, or freeze response due to the hormones that are flooding our bodies. Those hormones are sending the signals to our body parts. So when we are in one of those modes, the blood flow is going uh, mostly to those muscles that we need to survive which causes it to go away from the brain function. Our, so our brain function is minimized. And this leads to the inability to think clearly, which impacts our health and our jobs and our families. So in the weeks ahead, you will learn more about how to better control the stress in your life. But one of the best first strategies is to pause and breathe. And while you pause and breathe, it's also really helpful to move your body in a constructive way, like walking or the stretches that we do. It gives your brain time to process what's happening and actually to engage your feel-good hormones like your endorphins and dopamine and serotonin and oxytocin. And that all helps you to think a little bit more clearly. So this week's Express Death Stretch is specifically focused on releasing stress, especially in your upper body, because from the hips up is where we hold a lot of our stress. So that's going to be our focus. So uh, get ready uh, to do that. All right, see you in a minute. Our stretches today will all be done in the chair, working basically from the top of our head down to our hips. And we'll start by facing your desk and we will do a child's pose, a desk child's pose. So start taking, placing your hands at the, on the edge of your desk and drop your head in between your shoulders and just let your head hang heavy. Let gravity do its work here. And take a big inhale in and sigh it out. Exhale. Again, inhale and just clear out, get rid of whatever's not serving you. Exhale. And knock your head yes. Shake your head no. Nod your head, yes. And come on up to a seated position. And we'll do a couple of sun salutations like we normally do, but this time from a seated position. So start with your feet grounded down. You can do the standing up if you want. Just trying to show some different ways to do some of the things that we always do. All right, a sun salutation, just waking up your body. Inhale up, take your gaze up, forward fold, big swan dive down. Exhale, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, hang heavy, let your lower back open, and come back up to seated, extended mountain, one more time, forward fold, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, 
forward fold, exhale, and come on back up to seated. Very good. Okay. Uh, for this next stretch that we're going to do, which is of your neck, if you have a pinched nerve or any kind of neck issues, then I'm going to invite you just to do shoulder rolls instead of this neck move. All right. If you, as long as your neck does feel okay, drop your ear towards your right ear towards your right shoulder and slowly half moon circle your head over to the left and hold it there and take your right arm out to the side just until you feel just a little opening in your shoulder and in your neck just leave it there and breathe lower your arm and slowly roll your head over to the left and extend your right arm out to the side. Keep your gaze slightly down towards the floor. Actively reach your fingers, your left fingertips away from you. Couple of breaths. And bring your arm down and slowly roll your head back to center. Now, if you're doing shoulder rolls, maybe go in the opposite direction. If you're rolling forward, roll backwards. All right, continuing with opening up your neck, drop your chin to your chest, and then lift your chin up towards the ceiling. Three more times, chin to your chest, chin to ceiling, chin to chest, Exhale when you bring your chin to your chest, when you contract in. Exhale when you expand out, when you're lifting your chin up. And one more time, exhale. And inhale. And come back to center. Now add your spine to that. So continue with your, your chin to chest, chin to sky, and bring your, in, articulate your spine. So this is cat. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, pull the pit of your belly, Toward, back towards the back of your chair, and then cow, inhale, press your chest, chin up towards the ceiling, press your chest forward, and your shoulders back. So waking up your spine here. Three more. Cat, exhale. Cow, inhale. Two more. Cat, exhale. Cow, inhale. Last one. Cat, exhale. And cow. Great. And come on back to center. Take your arms out to the side. Lift your right hand up towards the ceiling and your left hand is facing down towards the floor. And then just switch that. So let's just do that a few times to warm up your shoulders and your arms just a little bit. And then we're going to get a little bit more dramatic with each twist. This is called wringing out the towel. It helps to Loose, continue to loosen up your shoulder and your upper back, your thoracic spine, which likes to get really cinched up when you're under stress. And two more. Last one. Good job. All right, take your hands behind you. And if you're able to clasp your hands behind you, I'll lift up the arms of my chair so you can see what I'm doing. And so my arms are clasped behind and lift your chin up towards the ceiling. And then take a big forward fold. Let gravity do its work again. Let, let your hands fall behind you. This is a great, continues to be a great shoulder opener, chest opener, thoracic spine opener. And come on up. And then last is a a uh, chair pose twist. So from your chair, just to stay with your uh, booty towards the edge of your chair, reach your arms up and then part your arms to the right. So twist open to the right, take your back hand, your right hand on the back of your chair, take your left hand on the outside of your right knee and twist to the right. So as you inhale, reach the crown of your head up. As you exhale, twist your shoulder, twist more towards the back. Connect to your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist deeper. One more. 
slowly come back to center and again reach your arms up over your head part your arms twist open to your left and one hand on the outside of your left knee your back hand on the back of your chair use it as leverage to help twist and open you up a little bit further inhale reach the crown of your head up exhale twist deeper lengthen up twist deeper one more and twist deeper and slowly come back to center and next week our stretches will work on releasing the stress from your lower body we hold a lot of stress in our hips and as well as our lower body as well um, but stick around we're going to do a couple minutes of some breath work that also will help you to alleviate stress and if you got to check check out we'll see you next time namaste <music>my guess is that you probably feel better already just from doing those stretches and another great breathing technique really pretty much any breathing technique is going to help you to get more into your parasympathetic nervous system which is where you make better decisions but one of my favorites and easiest to do and it's not really obvious to other people that you're doing it is four square breathing so we're going to inhale for four counts hold your breath for four counts exhale for four counts hold your breath for four counts we're going to do that a total of four times. All right. So you ready? Let's begin. Inhale for four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Three more times. Inhale for four. One. Pause. Exhale, pause, inhale for four, hold your breath, exhale four, hold your breath, last time, inhale four, Pause, exhale, pause, and that is that. So that's something that you can do while you're sitting in a meeting if you feel that you're triggered, sitting at the dinner table or taking a quick walk around the block. Just four rounds of that can really help lower your blood pressure and get you more into your uh, prefrontal cortex, which is where you make better decisions. All right, so I'll see you next time for more information on how to manage stress in your life. See you later, bye-bye.